Hi guys, welcome to another puzzle report. Uh, this time uh, I uh, was playing at the Masters tournament in Warsaw, and uh, this is uh, game four of the tournament. So I was uh, paired against uh, Seal. Uh, he's uh, playing Menot. So he uh, threw away my Haley tree list, and I uh, excluded his. Uh, Highly claimer list, and uh, we played uh, striker two against Severus. I was really happy that he did not remove striker uh, because uh, striker is my uh, default drop against Menot. So this is uh, my striker list in uh, team, and there are quite a, quite a few uh, models in there. I squeeze in Stormblade infantry unit. For, uh, for the free points uh, that I get, so yeah, a lot of uh, attacks uh, that I can generate. So I deploy uh, as usually uh, with the cavalry on the flanks and wardrakes in the middle, and the left flank there are storm blades, but they will be pushing toward the middle. And my opponent also deploys his forces, uh, Iridians in front uh, as a screening unit and the rest of his army uh, behind it and he deployed defensively uh, so his cavalry is on the right flank and the rest of the force is in the middle. And there is a nice forest that Sevi can hide behind so he will not be easy to get to. So I advance as usual, uh, the cavalry in front gets uh, arcane shield, a striker cast deceleration and then uh, the second line uh, are storm blades, usually I put in the second line lances but now there are storm blades in the second uh, wave and then third wave uh, is my second cavalry unit. It's, uh, it's quite a quite a side, quite a lot of models, everybody squeezed uh, so I'm, it might, if I get some AOEs I, it might be painful but uh, I hope that there will not be so many of, the, of those AOEs so my opponent has to now make a plan how to deal with my forces so his Iridians will advance and some of them will make some combined shots at my cavalry and then they can uh, of course reposition. So his Iridians uh, have put prey on one of my cavalry units but uh, the one with the prey is hidden behind so those in front uh, will get uh, hit uh, regularly and uh, he, they are not uh, doing great damage just some uh, single single wounds and after shooting they reposition to spread out and block my advance so the rest of the forces don't actually have much to do you'll uh, definitely need to take positions for the next round and uh, maybe shoot some if something still will be in range. So cut by law should shoot just once and uh, gives uh, one of my cover models uh, three damage. I uh, stayed out of his uh, aiming range so she he could not have shot twice. And then on the, his right flank, uh, his uh, daughter calf advances and or runs and, and takes positions. And takes <coughs> run to uh, take position as well. Core gives them uh, passage, so I will not be able to shoot them with non magical weapons, but uh, in reality, Strykel doesn't need to shoot him and uh, deal with everything just with charges the shots are just a bonus so 
So I believe uh, Sevi gave uh, Defender Sword to Iridians, so they will be um, even more difficult to uh, remove. Uh, and then uh, there goes uh, shots from uh, from the Jack, and he killed his uh, own uh, guys with it, with the scatter. And another scatter. One of my guys is dead. Well, this is uh, not so bad. I mean, uh, losing just a single guy uh, is uh, not so bad. He lost more. So, this round I'm just strongly considering charging all out, but the rangers are just not there. He is quite far away, so I hold my instinct to feed round two and uh, close uh, the lines and uh, charge him. I will, this, uh, I will just clear some iridians and uh, advance and keep my formation just to stay with most of my forces out of his uh, charge threat ranges. I cannot do nothing about the shooting, but uh, I will just keep on uh, the defensive high armor uh, uh, formation, uh, just like the one I have now at the beginning of the round, and uh, that should give me um, some protection. Uh, of course, I it would be good to get rid of uh, some of uh, the nasty solos. Uh, I would like to get rid of the monk who is on far left uh, flank and. Uh, also Kelbilo, uh, I can try to do it with Electrolips, but uh, we'll see. So uh, Stormblades, Charge, Iridians, they can do it over the Cavalry because of the Tactician uh, from the Captain. So Iridians are uh, Defenders warded, so I, I need a uh, 8 to hit. But uh, I do combined uh, attacks and somehow I managed to clear all three. Then I uh, proxy base one of my cover models where he would need to go to be in uh, range uh, of Electroleap from Kel Bailoch and the Monk. Now the big question is of course who uh, should I send there? And also my uh, storm blades, they uh, mini fitted, uh, so they are, they have iron steel now, armor 18, and kind of be knocked down. So now before I start moving, I put a, a line, defensive line from proxy bases. Uh, I just need to measure where my cavalry will go and uh, how they will be placed to have a good position. And I left spaces for my heavies there to run in. And I will take some shots. Uh, But the uh, high defense, so it's difficult to hit, but still I manage some uh, lucky shots. And at the end I reposition one of the cavalry models, so he can be uh, electroleap shot target. And uh, I put Ironclad in uh, formation, but uh, I just wondered if I can keep uh, Orauli out of threat range of the heavy there. So I decided to break a formation a bit and, and retreat him. Or plan to retreat him. And Orauli takes position just outside the threat range of the heavy. And Striker moves behind. 
he also casts deceleration again and there are uh, some electro leaps going in and uh, Kate later more missed but there are three lenses shooting my own lens and uh, one of them hits and removes the kale bio. So uh, the 50% of the plan is done. Uh, so I closed uh, to his line, staying out of the threat range of most uh, dangerous stuff and uh, keeping my most precious uh, stuff out of his range and. Uh, I also removed Kelbylock, but I did not remove the monk, so we'll see how it will go. The monk will be problematic because I will have to uh, invest some of my pressure, resor pressure resources to remove him and actually the, one of the only ways to remove him is hit him with the charge attack, which is dicey because defense 17, so uh, I need a, without a positive charge, boost it. Uh, 12, so sorry, boosted 10 to hit him. So the only reasonable thing to do is to electro leap him. So my opponent's uh, core uh, goes in, and I think this time they get battle, so they will be more dangerous in shooting. And the shooting starts. This time I'm very close, so everything of his is in range. So I start getting damage in my uh, ironclad. Ironclad is still alive, although there is not much left on him, just a couple of boxes. And the monk runs on the, or moves on the left uh, flank, blocking my scoring on the zone. So now Iridians charge in to my lenses. And uh, I want to counter charge with my Rowdy, but uh, then we uh, check if the counter charge can be done. Uh, and it can because I need uh, to get uh, within six, some enemy within six inches and line of sight. So I couldn't have counter charge uh, in reaction. And I was already hoping I could. Uh, get my Rowdy in range of his heavies, but uh, no such luck. So one of my uh, cover models is dead. And then uh, Iridian's reposition. And then uh, Daughter Calf charges in. Two are in charge range. I can uh, I can live with that. And they attack and thanks to uh, arcane shield, uh, my cavalry survives and then he attacks my uh, stormblades, who die, but. Every Stormblade that dies is an uh, attack saved from the lenses, so maybe it's not so bad. So a few Stormblades shorter, and he's uh, one of, of his uh, Weapon Masters from Open Co. goes and kills one of my lenses. Oh well, so uh, I'm two lenses down. But could be worse still. Sevi is keeping uh, behind the forest there.
he uh, did cast a spell on my Stormblade uh, through his Arc Node, killing uh, some. And then now it's my turn. So, uh, with no Pathfinder, there's no easy way to go through this wood. Uh, but I can go around it, and uh, this will be definitely feet turn so I will get at the end uh, feet moves as well now the as usually when I do this uh, tight formation and an enemy closes I always have uh, some issues unpacking the formation and uh, activation sequence is really problematic a striker of course needs to go one, as one of the first to give positive charge on the jacks. So striker does that, he gives a rowdy and firefly positive charge and stays on to camp. Junior gives arcane shield to striker because uh, very often after the feet turn there is an assassination attempt because striker does such a good job attritioning the enemy that they uh, just go for last ditch assassination so I almost on automatic uh, on a fit turn give arcane shield to striker so I uh, proxy base uh, Katie Leathermore and she will uh, charge in there over the stormblade and uh, impact attacks and shoots and stabs everything uh, in uh, close proximity killing everything so great uh, work Katie and I uh, decided that maybe Stormblades can knock down the Arc Node this is always good to f uh, in fight against Sevi because this is he it boosts his spell damage and if this uh, attrition round goes well he will not have uh, much left uh, to fight me uh, except uh, the, the spells so I charge in uh, assault shot and then charge attack. And it doesn't go terribly good. I'm at seven, and so I need sixes to hit with the uh, with the charge attack or a five, so it. But anyway, I don't I don't throw so while. So what I was hoping that four or five storm blades uh, can uh, kill the Jake, but they did not. But there are still feet attacks, so we'll see. And uh, Orraudi runs uh, forward to engage to the heavy and the light, and he will use the feet move to advance and, and hit the heavy probably. So now I have to unjump myself from uh, from this jam in front. So I go with Firefly, and Firefly boosts to hit. Uh, and hits one guy and chain lightning takes down the whole gen in front so great great stuff and uh, so the gem is removed so now actually I can see that I can try to go for Sevi because even without Pathfinder, my cover is fast enough. So I do this, I charge in, <coughs> charge attacks and Electro Leaps actually do some damage to Sevi, because he's the closest uh, target from my charge targets. So this turn of events surprised even me because I wasn't even hoping or planning for assassination uh, in this way but uh, as you see I moved in 
And now my uh, other lenses will advance and shoot the one lens uh, in the back. And I hope I will hit an electroleap heavy to death. And that's what I do. So Sevi died from electroleaps and I didn't even have to use my feet attacks. So thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would like to see more of the battles, uh, subscribe to YouTube channel or like me on Facebook. See you soon.